Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video and as you can clearly see there, or you could, this is Sly Spy Secret Agent which was released by Ocean in 1989 uh, this is the Amiga version, I've already done the uh, Commodore 64 version and this is a uh, conversion of the uh, arcade coin op which as you can see there is my data east now the Commodore 64 version was okay but it did suffer from two uh, significant problems firstly it was far too fucking easy and secondly the loading times were astronomical and you spent far longer waiting for the levels to load than you did actually playing them and it got even worse when you lost your last life and you had to uh, start the game again now with the Amiga version you would imagine that uh, you're not going to have that issue so that should uh, make this fairly good you'd think well let's get a game underway so you start by giving yourself your poxy number and just like the 64 I will be 00 so um, well it's now loading this uh, cutscene uh, there's some bad choice of colours on that parachute on his back it makes him look like he's wearing a backless shirt so yeah not, not too impressed with that one but it does actually move unlike the Commodore 64 version Okay, you shouldn't really expect too much animation and scenes like that on a Commodore 64. Which is just as well, because you don't get any. So here we go then with level 1, which is the uh, level based on the, the start of Moonraker. So we are now parachuting down here and shooting the enemies and this level is ludicrously easy uh, if you take a look at the uh, panel on the bottom there I won't bother picking up the bullets because I don't need them um, so you see uh, your uh, life meter health meter whatever you want to call it uh, when the, uh, a boss comes along you get the uh, enemy uh, health meter Uh, there's also uh, next to it the uh, 81 there that's how many bullets you have left then in the middle you have this watch which is displaying the timer why it's there I don't know because well, especially on a level like this um, then next to that when it finally uh, loads again as so we get on to level 2 Uh, is the weapon that you are using and then next to that it's how many of the uh, golden gun uh, parts you've got so here we are on level 2 there is uh, two parts of the golden gun that I could pick up so yeah I'll grab them So yeah, I'm doing staggeringly shite here and I can't believe I lost a fucking life on that level. So well, I'm already at the end of it, it's now just a case of destroying as many enemies as I can. And you may notice that the uh, enemy uh, waves follow exactly the same pattern throughout which is that uh, basically one walks in from in front of you and then another from behind you almost exactly the same time and it's only ever one person and uh, that happens a hell of a lot not in this level though because this next level we're on the motorcycle 
Look at that sheer speed that, uh, as we uh, race along here. So the enemy cycles take one hit and they are down. You then need to avoid any uh, shots that have come along. And you have this cunt who jumps in, so we take him out. But as long as you are basically pulling down like so, you can avoid pretty much every shot there is. So there's no point going after these uh, cunts on jetpacks here. And for one thing, trying to actually take them out is not easy. You basically, you have to jump. You should be able to uh, fire while you are doing a wheelie, but yeah, trying to do that is a lot easier said than done. So I just don't bother trying. So here we are then, and uh, I think we're approaching the end of the level. Okay, maybe we're not quite so near the end of the level as I thought. But the boss is coming up, yeah, here he is. So you first jump over that mine that's been laid, and there is the car. Now, you are scoring hits against that car, even though all of your shots seem to be going straight through it. So now this gun uh, has the uh, bazooka and he takes a fucking ace to fire it and then he fires this one shot which you easily avoid and boss, enemy car destroyed. A ludicrously easy boss. So there you go, level done again. So even though this uh, Amiga version using discs, so you know, it takes supposedly less time to load. It's loading up this cutscene, well, such as it is, and then uh, it loads up the level. So, you are actually, yet again, spending more time waiting for levels to load, or cutscenes to load, and then cutscenes to play, before you are actually playing the game. So, again, you spend more time waiting than you do actually playing it. And that's not the only annoyance about this game. Uh, if you insert both discs into the two drives and then start the uh, computer and you know start up your Amiga and, and whatever, um, the game completely ignores the second drive. It constantly asks you to keep putting the new disc into drive A. But if you load the game and don't have the uh, other uh, disc in the, the second drive, it will then ask you to put the uh, second disc into the second drive and then you can um, use it while playing the game. So now, right here we are then up on this level, and notice the uh, the waves of enemies. The one in front, one straight behind. Walk about two paces, and again, one in front, one behind. Another two paces, one in front, one behind. I've now got the golden gun, which in this game is quite useless, really. And so here we are with the, the, the whole time of this level, this is what you are doing. You can only take like, you know, a couple of steps and then the next enemy appears in front and one behind and this is it. This is the gameplay of level three. And, you know, it's staggeringly tedious. It's tedious to watch and it's even more tedious to play. But this is it. And it just goes on and on and on. And you think, okay, we're getting very close to the end of the level, but it's still plenty of time to have more of these, you know, plenty more of these fuckers constantly showing up. Exactly the same uh, attack waves every single fucking time. And now, finally, we jump up on the, uh, whatever that is. It looks more like a coat hanger than 
than anything else. But uh, there we go. And suddenly, oh, okay, the second bloke now appears again. Where did he come from? There's nothing behind me. But they're all you know, appearing out of the woodwork as we now get to uh, the uh, boss of this fucking level. Now I've uh, forced to uh, use uh, the, um, well, can't use my weapon anymore, so I've now got to just keep beating the fuck out of this cunt. Which uh, is actually easier said than done, but uh, here we go, that's a cunt down. So on to uh, the next level. Uh, you only get one life in the game, which I really do not like, but uh, like everybody else, because you only get one life, we treat the continues as lives, which you can do on the Amiga version. On the Commodore 64 version you can't, because it just means that you've got to wait even more of a ridiculously long time uh, once you finally get the game over. And then for the game to reload. So anyway, so here we are then in the uh, underwater section. This has some staggeringly dodgy uh, collision detection this level. Well, this is only about like the third or fourth time I've played this game and already I've got this far. So like the 64 version, this game is stupidly easy. There you see some of the uh, iffy uh, collision detection there. Now this part I just cannot get past these uh, mines here. They always catch you. I can't see how you can get through it. So I've got this thing which is supposed to make you go faster but as you can see I'm going moving at exactly the same speed. So now we're approaching the uh, boss, which is this fucking big old shark. And this is where the collision detection gets really fucking annoying, because when it fly, or flies, when it swims back towards you, um, yeah, trying to uh, avoid it is just ridiculously difficult. And, yeah, as you can see, this uh, boss is not what I would call challenging. So, oh, fuck's sake. So you just caught the edge of my flipper, which means I lost uh, more health. But there you go, finally dispatched that ludicrously easy boss. And now we go to the next level, which is exactly the same as level 3. Including the way the uh, attack waves come along, so it's back to the usual routine of uh, having some cun appearing right in front of you and then someone else behind you at almost the same time. Take them out, take two steps and repeat ad infinitum. So... Uh, <coughs> Oh yes, that's fine. At the start, you've got all these fucking dogs and everything, so... Oh, and this fat cunt who's just killed me. And that's game over. Oh no, I've got one more credit left. Your shots are unbelievably slow. It takes the fucking piss. Uh, even up here, this thing I've got is, is supposed to be a fucking machine gun, but your shots take an age. <sighs> so that's given me a health bonus on it. I don't think I can, yeah I can't jump up there. Fucking hell that was close. So now I have to somehow get up here, oh, fuck's sake, despite the fact that 
There's just this endless supply of fucking enemies keep cropping up here. I mean, the golden gun uh, weapon really is a bit fucking useless because throughout, as always, you've only got the one, uh, you know, the one enemy in front of you anyway, including that bloke who just walked right past me. Fucking hell, so I've got the uh, boss here, which is... Uh, some tigers. Um, okay, well there you go. <sighs> right, well I've got no more continues so that really was game over. So there you go. Sly Spy. Wasn't that good? No. Uh, right, so once the game has, uh, well the title page has reloaded, um, We'll have another go, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll start the review. Uh, there we go. So yes, I was top. Lucky old me. Right. So uh, well, let's start with then. Uh, right. The presentation. It, I guess it looks quite close to an arcade game. Um, I've never seen the arcade coin off original of this game, so I don't know, you know, how close it is to, uh, you know, the coin op version of Sly Spy. But it certainly looks and behaves like a, an arcade coin op game, so I suppose the presentation is okay. Uh, graphics, I think, are staggeringly mediocre. Um, I mean, you know, around 89 on an Amiga, yeah, the Amiga was capable of better than this. A lot better than this. This is very forgettable stuff. It's not the worst graphics I've ever seen in a game, but there's nothing here that makes me think... Yeah, this, this version is, you know, fantastic. Look at how great it looks. No. Uh, in terms of audio, yet again, it's... Uh, Sound effects or music, but not both. Uh, actually, let's let's try the. Uh, okay, well, I thought I was going to try the sound effects. It looks like you have to try the sound effect or select them before you actually start the game. You can't change them during the game. So yeah, you got sound effects or music. I've never heard the sound effects. I do like the fact that at least this cunt here has the decency to put the American flag upside down. Um, the music is utterly forgettable. It sounds like someone is playing it on some cheapo Casio keyboard. And uh, because of that, because there are no sound effects at all and the music just sounds that cheap and that shit it utterly fails miserably to create any kind of like atmosphere of excitement it's it just sounds and looks staggeringly dreary Uh, so that of course brings us nicely on to gameplay. The gameplay is unbelievably bland. Um, the levels are often so short that you spend more time sitting at the computer waiting to start them than you do actually playing them. And then when you do start playing them they all fall into one of two categories they are either ludicrously easy such as well the first three levels are all ludicrously easy um, or it's you know, those platform sections where you have you know that same attack wave all the way through it's um, 
you know, take a couple of steps, one bloke appears in front of you, another behind you almost immediately, and uh, yeah, that, that's it. So you just shoot them as soon as they appear on screen, and um, yeah, there you go. But because they come along so fucking frequently, yeah, you take a couple of steps for the next two to appear. So it takes you fucking ages to get around the level. Um, so it gets extremely fucking annoying. And it's extremely fucking tedious as well. So I don't know if this is a good uh, conversion or not, but as far as, uh, w you know, the game itself, is it any good? No, it fucking well isn't. I mean, I didn't like the Commodore 64 version because of the issues it had with being so easy and uh, spending so long waiting for the uh, levels to load. Well, this is just the same only it has other things to annoy you as well the, the bland graphics the uh, you know the shit audio with no sound effects at all and just unbelievably generic boring uh, music and then the way it's been programmed so that uh, so that that happens where the uh, attack waves on these platform sections, it's just the same over and over and over again. And there's no enjoyment here at all. It's either so easy it's boring, or it's so tedious it's boring. And that's all you've got. So even though I, I you know, thought the Commodore 64 version was plagued with, well, played it had two quite major issues that badly affected it um, it's still better than this version uh, the Amiga version of Sly Spy is just so fucking dreary and annoying and tedious and all the rest of it And you're supposed to, you know, be trying to get these golden gun pieces, so you get this great weapon. But when you do get that weapon, you realise that it's a fucking waste of time. It's fucking pointless. So here we are on this level. And it's just, you know... Right, shoot the cunt in front and behind, and then take two steps and shoot the cunt in front and behind. Take a, well, I think I took one step there. Shoot the cunt in front and behind. Shoot the cunt in front and behind. Bloody fucking blah. I didn't anyone play test this. Didn't anyone sort of, you know, take a look at this and think, you know what? At the moment, it's in a really fucking tedious state. We've got to fix that. Well, clearly, no, they didn't, because it's been released, and this is all I'm doing. And if you think it's boring to watch, and let's face it, you do think that, you try sitting here playing it, it's worse to play than it is to fucking watch. The, the tedium is even higher, uh, you know, here, playing the fucking game. So it's a dreadful fucking game, this. So, what score do I give it? Not very much at all. I mean, I cannot think of anything, you know, good about this game. Because there isn't anything good about it. So I will score this um, well, not very much, that's for sure. There you go, that's that cut down. So I will score this two out of ten. Um, because they've done a good job of the presentation and made it look like an arcade game. And 
at a stretch, this next level that I'm about to start, some of the graphics here look okay. Though not on any of the sharks. And that's it. But everything else, the graphics on all the other levels, the audio from start to finish, and the gameplay from start to finish, gets fuck all. Because it's just forgettable at best. Um, you know, I mean, it could be, like I say, that the arcade, you know, the coin-op is as bad as this and that's why so many people had never heard of it so I'm, I'm not the only one I know plenty of other people who have played this game or reviewed the game who are all saying the same thing which is I don't know why they converted this I've never heard of it and I'm sure there's a reason for it fuck me I actually got through that section So I think we are now approaching the fucking boss. And the graphics on the boss here are particularly bad. Fucking hell. The shark looks about as, uh, you know, as well done as the shark in Jaws the Revenge. Fuck it, it barely clips the fucking flipper, but that counted as a hit. Fuck off. I reckon one more hit should do it. There you go. So. I don't think I'll bother using any more continues because I've had enough of this game. I've had more than enough of this game. So once it's uh, game over, which hopefully isn't too fucking far away. <sighs> now what's it fucking doing? How long does this part have to fucking load? Alright, oh, here we are. Hey, like, you know, Rolling Thunder it ain't. Put it that way. Rolling Thunder was a great game. This is... Oh, here we go. Oh, it was shorter than the... Uh, it might have been. Fucking, I was using the uh, fucking mega weapon, whatever you want to call it, but no, it just wasn't fucking doing anything. And straight away dead. Oh, what a fucking shame. So there you go. So that is uh, Slice by Secret Agent. Uh, the Amiga version is a load of shit. Uh, 2 out of 10. That brings this review to an end. And we will see you at the next one.